What's up, boys? You're looking handsome as sh- Oh my god, you look so handsome! It's a little weird that you're watching me while you're, uh, on the pooper. That's a little weird. You still look really handsome, though. You wanna hand me some of that? I need to stop. Are you a minor? <laughs> Whoa! If you've been watching my videos, you know that I have a dilemma right now. I played my Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl, I grinded to the playoffs. Problem is, I can't start a new Wheel of Mutt season until I'm not in the playoffs. Now, yes, I could have just gone into a playoff game and just rage quit out instantly and then reset my seasons. But dude, I grinded my cheeks off to get here. I'm not just gonna just dip out. So I said, what video should I make, you know? I wanted to do a, a dumb challenge, but then it's like, damn, I'm gonna lose in the playoffs. So instead, I went out and bought the most ridiculously busted halfback in the game, the 93 overall Christian McCaffrey. This card art, ooh, it's so sick. He has 90 speed, 91 excel, 92 agility, 94 carrying, 88 catch, 90 change of direction, the only problem is the trucking on McCaffrey cards is so dog shit, and I do do a lot of trucking. I went with recuperation, recover from fatigue faster, reach for it, and backfield master. Christian McCaffrey is one of those guys who's very hard to replicate how good he is in real life into a video game. And Tyreek kills the opposite. It's so easy. You just make him really fast, and it makes him really good in the video game. We're gonna throw in McCaffrey. Everything else is wheel of mutt. I just plan to go fucking off, get you guys some sick ass gameplay. And we'll really just go from there. Divisional playoff game. I'm praying that whoever we play is in their Super Bowl. That would make my day. I want to ruin someone's day today. What a good guy I am. And of course, a huge thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. You guys know Raid. It has global PvP, massive PvE bosses, over 600 champions. But today, I want to look at one of my favorite factions in all of Raid Shadow Legends. There used to be just elves, but about 700 years ago, Seroth tempted some of them away from the light. When the war broke out, the high elves won, but it definitely wasn't permanent. The high elves and the dark elves are certainly not getting along. Time doesn't seem to heal every wound. If you ask me, though, I'd say the dark elves are awesome enough already they're like a legion of evil assassins and warlocks and who doesn't love a good bad guy let me show you some of my favorites my starter kale is actually a dark elf i always talk about him he's an incredible starter because he's good even in the late game i love my dude this is a legendary called zavia she gives me crazy castlevania vibes i really hope i can get her one day my next favorite is rule the hunt master bro i know this guy's a beast and he's constantly being swarmed by these little evil butterflies or whatever they are absolute savage so when I'm not looking at the amazing champions in Raid, one of my favorite things to do is fight dungeon bosses. This dude's a beast, but we can definitely take him down. Jizo's a beast. He's gonna do a lot. Solid. One more big hit might take him out. And that is the Ice Golem down. Let's get it, boys. Got a rare weapon as a reward. Nice. Raid's also got non-stop scheduled events coming up, plus some amazing things for Halloween. Big rewards, tournaments against other players, special fragment events where you could potentially get a legendary Halloween champion. There's never been a better time to get started, so to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code, and you'll get an epic hero, Chanaru, who's amazing in the Doom Tower. 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game and all this treasure will be waiting for you in the top right at this chest icon right here it's that easy click the link in the top of the description and i'll see you in game enjoy the rest of the video dude ramsey and mccaffrey on the top three is so sexy what do you got zeke lamar dante jackson an impressive budget squad to be in the playoffs so this guy's gotta be legit or he got insanely lucky to get here it's not his super bowl what is this divisional yeah it's a divisional dude low-key if i win this game i don't want to get ahead of myself here but if i win this game i might go straight into the nfc chip it's gonna actually be a and now i'm really glad it wasn't wheel of mutt because that would have ruined the video i'm praying that was him quitting and not me about to get a loss i swear to god if this shit kicks me out of the playoffs dude i hate ea I gotta win? So did he just quit? How could you grind your way into the playoffs and quit? Maybe his mom came in the room and shut the Xbox off. I'll never forget this one story I had. Do you guys remember the Xbox that had that touch screen power button? And there's our top three swagnamite. I'll tell the story in a second. I need to see his top three. Okay, this is gonna be a good game. I'm excited. So there's an Xbox 
It was like if you kind of like just barely touched your finger to it, it sensed the heat from your finger and that's how you turned it on and off. Dumbest feature ever. I was playing COD Zombies round 20, trying to complete the Easter egg on Call of the Dead. I was online with three random people I met on Xbox. We would literally log in and just do Call of Duty Nazi Zombies Easter eggs. So I was nasty good at Nazi Zombies and I was pretty horrible at multiplayer. I was literally just a Zombies player. When it get in late rounds and you get the crawlers, you just want to sit back and chill out, you know, while your teammates are running around doing shit. So I set my feet up on my desk, right? And my Xbox is up over here. And my fucking big toe, bro, my big toe grazes the power button and that shit turned off. And I just sat there in dead silence in my room realizing that the next time I turned on my Xbox, my teammates were gonna fucking kill me. And I just got a pick in the, oh my God. I thought I just got a pick in the NFC championship. Either way, I'll never forget that. I was in like sixth grade. And I was livid. I wrote a letter to Xbox and I was like, this shit is so dumb. You need to switch this. Obviously, I didn't play a factor in whether they switched it or not, but they did switch it. He had gotten that pass off. Throw RB. Dude, did I really just win the... F Am I going to go to the Super Bowl right now? Am I just this good? Nope. You know I'm going for two, baby. This is so obviously... I was so obviously gonna get that. How did you get in the playoffs? Why can't I play these people in Wheel of Mutt? Uh, I guess that's not true. My, my Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl, it's kind of a wash. I, I kind of clapped that guy. We've already won a game in the playoffs. I haven't used McCaffrey. Is that Warren Sapp off the edge? Okay. No way. Great move by him. Get off your block, Marlon Humphrey. Not really sure what he thinks he can throw here. He can't really throw anything here. Oh, great defense, boys. Does he want to go A? He can't go A if he wants it. Wow, Lamar Jackson is getting swallowed. Third and 17. Oh my goodness, dude. Holy shit, Ramsey's having a day. This Ramsey is stupid. And I probably could have returned that, but I want to use McCaffrey, bro. Please don't quit. Oh my God, I'm going to the fucking Super Bowl. You're witnessing a full playoff run right now. Wow. He's the Patriots, the coin toss. Wow, we get that we get that Super Bowl presentation, baby. Deion Sanders, 88 speed, 88 agility. I like this. This is what I didn't get in Wheel of Must. You guys are getting it now. Wow, those Super Bowl logos on the field do, do get me amped, though. Wow, look at that, dude. This looks so sick. I guess I expected it to look sick, but this is exciting. Hopefully this one's actually a good game. White chocolate backfield right now. I promise you guys, I'm not racist. No, seriously, guys, I have black friends. Listen to me, I'm serious. All right, let's just hit McCaffrey on the first play of the game. Oh. I literally blacked like seven against four. I think he just got really lucky on that first block shed. I, I run this route combo so much, but that's just because it's fucking nasty. All right, he probably is gonna... Yeah. Oh, he goes on McCaffrey, but we still got it! <gasps> Holy shit! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! McCaffrey! McCaffrey! Holy shit! Touchdown in the Super Bowl! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Dude, that juke after the catch was disgusting. Look at this, bro. At the very last second. Let's try the underneath route to McCaffrey. Let's see if he guards it. I don't think he's there for it. Oh, he is? <laughs> Oh, McCaffrey, you could have reached for that, bro. Ooh, Von Miller around the edge. This might be my best playoff run of all time. Look at that block shed. Wow, I'd be pissed. I'd be mad. We're camping the paint here. He's got to throw. It's got to be play action. What? Keep the pressure on. I've got A. I've got it. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, let's get there so fast, boys. Guess the, guess the snap. A, A. Okay, that's actually fine. That's a fourth and eight. Devin White, I just need you to hold the middle, buddy. Mine! <laughs> ah! Ah! What am I doing? What happened there? Looked like an idiot after the pick, but great pick. Peak zone bubble to McCaffrey. There's only one DB on this left side here, but he fucking, oh, no way. Dude, McCaffrey has 120 yards and two catches. Oh, wait. Shit! Holy shit! He's a god! He has two catches for like 140 yards! Pink Zone Bubble still got it, baby! 14 to zero in the Super Bowl. I am playing really good football and also kind of getting pretty lucky. I don't think either of those Christian McCaffrey touchdowns were... That last one was pretty damn good, but required him fucking up. <laughs> hey, I'm a happy boy. We're also playing great defense. Oh, 
up 14 to 0. I got a bad feeling about this. Up 14 to 0 in the Super Bowl. EA? Oh my god. I did not spend 4 hours grinding to the goddamn Super Bowl for your dick shit servers to fucking suck my cock. Fuck! Get this Oh my god. Bro. It's not a coincidence. I have 10 different recorded game clips of this shit breaking out every time I'm winning. It never happens when I'm losing. If I get a pick six in a crucial moment in the fourth quarter, it happens. If I end the goddamn game in the Super Bowl, it, oh my God. I'm so pissed, look at this shit, I'm still online. If I, look, I'm still online. I still have Xbox chat, I can still message people. It's just EA servers. This is how these bums make it through the playoffs. They're doing this stupid ass desync glitch. I'm winning 14 to zero against a fucking bum. Tell me how that bum made it to the playoffs. He didn't. He's doing this desync glitch. Oh my God, watch. I'm gonna go into head to head seasons right now and I won't have, I'll, I'll literally be a rookie playoffs loss or whatever the hell it says. And my seasons will be reset. Super Bowl rewards waiting. Rookie, Super Bowl, zero wins. 14 to fucking zero. I hope somebody at EA sees this, bro. It's absolutely inexcusable that you could pay $60 for this game, additionally pay for additional items in Mutt Ultimate Team to drop some shit like this, EA. It's inexcusable. Look at the balls on this guy, too. It's Tiki. He said, wow, you like guys, and then he said, W. Nice desync, bud. I'm reporting this dude for cheating. I'm done, bro. I'm done. I pray to God they fix his shit.